Now, assuming you selected your keyword, what you need to do to go and spy on your competitors is enter your keyword in Google and wait for the search results to appear. Now, in some cases, you're going to see the featured snippet or a Google AI generated answer. But when you see a top result that looks similar to this, the link that's there, according to some stats that I've read, more than 20% of the people that are going to land on this page are going to actually click that first link. So providing a short answer to your audience on your blog allows them to get their answer fast when they land on your blog article. But in Google, providing a short answer allows you to maybe get that spot, right? Now, sometimes you'll also land on a Google result page where there's none of this. Okay, when there's none of it, what you could do is ask ChatGPT after writing your article to provide a short answer, and then you go and put it in your blog article, at least so that your visitors can get their quick answer at the top of your article as shown in a previous video. Now, because I have the short answer here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go and put it in a notepad. I've already done that here, okay? So put it in a notepad for now, leave it as is, and name this short answer. Then you're going to go below and write table of contents. So what you want to do is open the first result page and then you want to create your table of contents. So basically you grab each headline of that article, all of them. Okay. Just the headlines and you make your table of contents with it here. Now let's go back to Google. You see here, there's people ask and related searches. So here you could have information that could be added to your article. So I've done that here too. I've added the people ask and the related searches. Okay. So now I have my headlines to create an article. So then what I'm going to do basically is go in my prompts list and use my prompts to start writing my article. Now, what's very important is that when you're doing a prompt, you do a prompt for one line at a time. And as for your people ask and related searches, on your blog article, you're going to name it frequently asked questions. Okay. So you can use the people asked and the related searches to add a frequently asked questions section on your blog article. And you do the same thing again. You prompt each line one at a time. Okay. So like that is going to give you enough content to add to your blog article. And what's important obviously is that your blog article title has your keyword in it, that your article has your keyword at least one time. The same for the frequently asked questions section. And obviously when you're going to ask ChatGPT to write your key takeaways, you want to also see your keyword at least once in there. And as for the short answer, same thing. You want to see your keyword at least once in there. And if you want to see if you could add even more content or better content, you could also look at the position number two and three. This could also provide you more information to add to your blog article and make a better article. But at the end of the day, your goal is to make a better article than your competitors, right? So just focus on that. I mean, if I look at this article here, there's no table of contents, there's no video, and there's no key takeaways. So I know that if I make a better article, then whoever's in top one in Google, I'm going to eventually start driving traffic. Maybe I won't get the top one and this person might remain there. But the fact that I have a better article than this person, I'm going to start ranking for that keyword and even end up in page one of Google. Maybe just not in the number one position, but being on the first page of Google is what you're aiming for, right? So just focus on making better articles than your competitors. That's the key to everything. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.